Welcome back to Warriors Weekly, now the Fitz Files with Bob Fitzgerald. Well, on this edition of the Fitz Files, if you look at injuries, they're no fun for anybody. No fun for the fans, for the team, for the players themselves that have been hurt. But in the injuries, there are opportunities, and the developmental league for the Warriors has been heavily used this year. When you look at three players coming up from the D-League and Cartier Martin, and you take a look at Anthony Tolliver, and you look at Chris Hunter, they have had chances to play, to start games, to put up career best in scoring and minutes played. Now making the D-League, that's something that's not unfamiliar to Warrior fans because C.J. Watson and Kalena Azubuki have also come to the Warriors from the D-League. So what's it like when you first get called up and you realize that NBA dream? I sat down with Kalena Azubuki, not only to check in with him, but to ask him about that first night being a Warrior and being in the NBA. Man, I just remember everything, it happened so fast, you know. One, one, one minute I was in uh, Fort Worth and the next minute I was in Oklahoma City with the Warriors. And um, I just remember being really excited and, uh, you know, I got in the game. Uh, I had a dunk my first game. First game was in Oklahoma City, which is two hours away from my hometown or where I grew up. So everything was just amazing and I was just uh, really excited. Then. Now you went from the D-League to proving you're a legit player, fourth in the NBA in three-point shooting double figure scoring, Does it, do you relax? Does your talent then come out? What is it about coming up from the D-League and then proving you belong? I think um, being from the D-League, I think it just keeps you hungry, you know, especially for a guy like me who's, uh, you know, I, I, I feel like I'm a hard worker and all that stuff. I just really want to get better and better and, and not, you know, relax and, and feel like I've made it because I, I know I have it. I know I'm going to get so much better. So that's, um, that's my biggest thing is just staying hungry. You had gotten off to a great start this season. Had it improved defensively, handling the ball, initiating plays. The shooting and scoring were terrific. You have the injury in Milwaukee. First, uh, not to dwell on it, but initially, have you seen any tape of that? Did you ever go back and look at it? Did you just want to put it behind you? Uh, at first, I didn't even want to watch it. Um, but then I, I got myself around. You know, I, I, I cheered myself up. You know, I got, I got you know, a great family and, and people that encouraged me. So, it was, it was, uh, you know, I got over it pretty quick. And, and I uh, just got my mind set on getting back uh, to playing and, um, and rehab and all that. But um, I watched it. At first, I thought someone touched me. Like, I felt like someone you know, kicked me or something. And, uh, and they told me no one touched me. So I was like, man, I got to see this. So it looked like and, uh, it, it, was, uh, it was it was a bad fall. You know, it's just one of those freak things. So, um, you know, but you just put it behind you. And, uh, and uh, rehab is going wonderful. So I'm happy about that. You realize the TV announcer kind of lost it for about five minutes. I had a tough time after that play. Yeah. I mean, Jim, Jim and I enjoy you so much as a person as well as a player. Uh, maybe that's the first time I've ever called a game where emotionally I, I was just bummed out for you. And just to see you in pain, that really hurt. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. But um, yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things, you know, it's, uh, you know, you can't predict what's going to happen. You never know. And, um, um, you know, when something like that happens, you just pick yourself back up and, uh, you know, and uh, uh, just get back on it. Just get to rehab, and, and um, you know, I'll be back stronger. And that's what I'm. Uh, that's what I'm happy about. That's what I'm excited about. Be back sooner than you think, and certainly part of that young warrior core. Looking forward to getting everybody on the floor for the first time. It's going to be a fun group eventually. On the Fitz Files, we'll see you next time right here on Warriors Weekly.